friends of the Little Caesars fact. I'm right. sure there's a haiku in there somewhere. You got it. Just make your own haiku out of that. Yeah. Decide which words to use. Tweet it, Jordan, and let them know what your haiku would be. Okay, here we go. As I said earlier, it's two months ago. Our previous Little Caesars episode was released June 8th, 2021, where we ate the pepperoni cheeser cheeser pizza. It received an average score of 78.1. Pretty good score. Yeah. Well, that is a pretty good Do score. Do you remember no. anything about it? Whatever you're going to say, the answer is <laughs> uh, I think it was a cheese pizza. It was a lot of cheese. What did? Do you remember? I think I it fell on the ground at one point. It was just a lot oh, of cheese. Sounds right. Um, we were still probably rolling around outside in the mud. Yes, we were. And he was screaming about ah! something getting on his car. Probably something definitely like, got on my yeah, car, yeah. As, as it always did. Mm-hmm. Um, simpler times. Uh, more annoying times. <laughs> <laughs> First introduced in the United States in 2018, Breakthrough Pizza Portal Technology was the industry's first heated self-service mobile order pickup portal and today we used it. And then in parentheses, God, I hope we used it. <laughs> Man, you would have looked like an idiot. Which we did. We did. We, we did. A- but Eric got so excited, he ran in and opened just, it before I we didn't took even a picture. Get to, we didn't film it. What were we going to do? What, we gonna Fucking f- film a video? Are you using it? It opened. It was so cool. Ten years in the making. It was fine. Ten years in the making. It was a big deal. It was just went over and hit the He fucking like had the code memorized. He didn't even like look at his phone. He was on the phone and looked at the phone right before I walked in. It was right there. He ran in screaming. Nobody looked. Nobody looked. Nobody looked. And then he opened it. it. I got a glimpse of it. It like slowly opened, like steam came out, and it went like. It went. Whoosh. Yeah. It also Pizza wasn't portal activated. Yeah. It also Thank wasn't all consumer. the stuff that we ordered. This is the voice. No. Of Mike then Phillips. you turned and said, uh, "We'll take the rest." Yeah. There, there should be way more than this. And then, right. The pizza was in there. No. Oh, not then, like it the, is the pizza portal, not, not the rest the, portal. Yeah, yeah. Not Mountain Dew. Right. And then a man and got then, screamed at for then five then minutes. Everything <laughs> changed. <laughs> so, so yeah, let's talk about the guy. Again. Whatever we ordered. Right, like <laughs> I guess we asked for sauce, or there was no, no. I ordered sauce. Okay, so you ordered sauce. Yes, there's there was sauces that came with the pizzas, and then additional sauces that we were supposed to get. It was I in ordered. the picture, Michael. It's yeah, it's true. Oh, on I, the menu. Oh, I learned. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was a woman who sticks by what they're selling. Yes, absolutely. Right, she yep. needs to go uh, reorganize Subway. And how they work. When someone comes in and says, I want this deal, she knows exactly what's in that deal, Mm -hmm. not what do you want. I want that. Right. Okay, so you had ordered extra sauce. So there was like one big marinara sauce Mm -hmm. or whatever it is for the order. And then she basically berated this man, yelled at the screaming man at him the food. to get the sauce. And he basically had no words. He was just like, uh, and he just kept like pointing at the He's sauce. Like, that? What kind of sauce is that? And, and she, she like, was just like, they got another she one. Like hit they the, get it. She was like pointing at the menu she like on hit the it wall. Like, the marinara sauce. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> get sauce, buddy! And the whole time, Nick's going, yeah, 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 the sauce, yeah, the sauce, yeah, the sauce, yeah, 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 yeah. murder this she's man. Like, the she's sauce. like, do you want? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. say yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter what she's offering. Take it, yeah, 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 yeah. We want. He's just like nodding his head, like, uh huh, uh huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get a boss, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, but dude, the guy, I don't think that guy said a single word. Nothing. He was no. just like, he tried to. Uh, he but, made uh, noises. Uh, <laughs> So he disappeared and got that while she grabbed breadsticks and like there was so much get the brownies! The brownies! (laughs) Do! Screaming at this. They were like the only two people in there, right? Yeah, and we were the only other four people (laughs) in the whole fucking place. (laughs) Oh man. That Um, play, that was a great and you know what? We got everything. It's true. It's we true. Did. We got everything. Got everything. She I, made sure. I have more to talk about, but I think we should get through the facts. Let's yeah. Let's but, uh, this, a lot happened. The grand total of our meal that fed five people today. <laughs> Why five? <laughs> Experts still don't know to this day. Was $34. And yeah, maybe it tasted like it, but Little Caesars is forever the king of affordable meals for families. Pizza, pizza? Family, family. <laughs> <laughs> Little Caesars, the official pizza of Fast and the Furious. Man, I'm, just, I'm just saying, if you have a Should've family, and oh damn, uh, imagine drinking a lukewarm Corona right now <laughs> <laughs> to wash this cheese, cheese, cheese and grease, cheese goop. I down. still have cheese goop stuck in my throat, trying <laughs> to work down. 
<laughs> we were we were saying it earlier. Little Caesars is like it's so affor- it's like insanely affordable to buy just full meals from that place, and it's totally like respectable. It, like it doesn't taste like cardboard. No, Pizza's right? Easy it's to good, taste like cardboard. Mm-hmm. It's good enough, and it's cheap. Yeah, because look, everyone in your family might eat different amounts. Some people might dive right into a crazy calzone and get sauce all over their paws. Some people might be dipping sauces in mm-hmm. everything and mm-hmm. making sure they get extra stuff. Mm-hmm. And then some people might finish um, half a slice of a crazy calzone and go, okay. And say, uh, <laughs> I, I get I, it. I get what this is. I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, you like, how is it? And I was like, <laughs> a lot of faces, just, not a lot of, just not sounds. <laughs> So you can feed your whole family just like that. Incredible. On August 22nd, 2021. That was well, like was that, that was like two like, days ago. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The From Detroit today. Tigers first baseman Miguel Cabrera hit his 500th home run, becoming only the 28th player in MLB history to achieve this. It is rumored that Mike Illich's last words were, quote, Miguel Cabrera, end quote, Walt Disney style, or... They might have been, quote, I don't want to die. <laughs> We're not sure. He died alone. <laughs> Jesus. He died alone and nobody knew until 2019. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we broke the news. We did. Yeah. It was like he died all over again. <laughs> Sad stuff. But Miguel Cabrera, People congratulations. People kept saying, no, I just saw him last Did week. <laughs> Didn't I? I saw a oh, no. picture of him. Oh, no. Directed by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> oh, no. He went to the beach. Oh, oh no. Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> mommy, I'm big, mommy. Oh, mommy. Make a pizza. The more you describe that movie, the more everyone in the car just kept going, fuck, fuck. Mommy. My uh, bathing suit's small. Uh, why? <laughs> Can I just ask God. real quick, why were Walt Disney's last words Miguel Cabrera? No, his last words were Kurt Russell. <laughs> Do you know about that? <laughs> Walt Disney's last words were Kurt Russell. He knew. That would have been cool if they were Miguel Cabrera, though. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been like foreshadowing. <laughs> that would have been so said, like, Rurt Cussell. And someone would go. <laughs> and someone, and and someone so, went, And someone uh, was like, oh, yeah, he fucked that uh, up. I just <laughs> remembered, Kurt Russell was the name of his sled when he was a kid. Oh. oh. He actually used Kurt Russell as a sled. <laughs> when Kurt Russell was a kid. <laughs> it's true. Fond memories. And the final fact of the first ever three-peat. From pretzel crust to french fry crust, Little Caesars has had its share of wacky limited run items, but none are closer to our hearts than the spaghetti bucket. You fucks bring it back already. We want our spaghetti in a bucket, and we want it now! (laughs) Bring back the bucket. (laughs) Give me a a bucket. bucket. I want a pail full of spaghetti, and I want to dump it out on my son's plate and go... Eat up, asshole. Also, you know what? <laughs> I want to take it to the beach and make a spaghetti castle. As we've been talking about spaghetti for 10 years, uh-huh. not until today have I wanted to go, Spaghetti! <laughs> get, the, get the spaghetti bucket! Go get the bucket! <laughs> oh, man. That would be... I can see it now. It's just... I can share that, that cherished memory. Stare as it goes back. <laughs> I didn't know we like, had buckets of the, spaghetti. To the bathtub of spaghetti <laughs> to shovel it out into five <laughs> buckets. Five. <laughs> Wait, is that so? Let's let's figure that out real quick. <laughs> if the spaghetti bucket comes back and Gracie is here and there's five of us. Yeah. Do we get five oh, buckets sure. of spaghetti? I'm share the, my the bucket, bucket with you fucks. <laughs> you fuckets? Yeah, they should call it a fuck bucket. <laughs> I don't think Little Caesars is going to call <laughs> their spaghetti bucket the fuck they bucket. could. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're going <laughs> to. It's five fuck buckets. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you can you already know the bucket is going to be smaller than you think. No way! I mean, it's gonna be so it's big. It's gonna be. Think about, it's gonna no, be a personal no, size no, you bucket. Can't be no. Using the word bucket and have it you, be small. No, because think about how much spaghetti. That's how they trick you, Michael. Think about how much spaghetti you would eat in one sitting. That's less than a bucket's worth. Uh-huh. If you buy a bucket of spaghetti, did Nick turn into a muppet? <laughs> 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 spaghetti bucket. <laughs> You have to think He's about like how much Kermit in Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> More Parmesan, please. 
You have to think about how much spaghetti would be contained inside of a bucket. It's like, think about a bucket and then spaghetti. I want a Home so- Depot orange. You want a, you want, <laughs> I want them size. to like put a piece of tape over the logo. Yeah, and and then just fill it with spaghetti. And they're like, yeah, it's something. orange. We're orange. <laughs> it works. That's uh, we're gonna have to get five buckets of spaghetti. Yeah, that's so much spaghetti. It's, look, in the long run, though, it's. It's gonna be cost effective. Think about all the things you can that use mean? that bucket for. Don't, afterwards, don't think too. <laughs> you know how you go to Rudy's and you you keep those cups? Yeah, oh. you bring the bucket back. Yeah, you can use <laughs> you it. Fill it up. Use it on spaghetti, house. please. Use it on house chores. Don't worry, I brought my own bucket. <laughs> <laughs> fill her up. What? What is this? That's my spackle butt. That's my my spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. Or or did we create something new and delicious? Oh. Introducing spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti's so thick. <laughs> oh, my my this, throat's closing. This spaghetti tastes like a house. Uh, do you think that Seven Eleven would honor the spaghetti bucket as a drink if you came in and filled up a, like a big gulp? Yeah, style I think they thing? would. I don't they think they would. Give if you a can fuck. if you can put a lid on it. Yeah, and then put a little straw. Because that's the thing. Like they have they have a thing at Seven Eleven on like. It's, I think it's on 7-Eleven. You come in and you fill up, you know, a, whatever. You bring your own cup if you want and fill up a, a Slurpee. And so I want a whole spaghetti bucket full of Slurpee as long as I can put a straw in it. And then it's a Slurpee bucket? Yeah. A sluck it. <laughs> <laughs> I think slurk it is. <laughs> think that's better? Is probably more appropriate. <laughs> and those are. That's the- all. We're just big and strong like horses. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's mm. get on to some facts. Let's do it. Our previous Little Caesars episode <laughs> was released July 6th, 2021. Yeah, I missed that one. Where we ate the bourbon bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it received an average score of 76.75, which is not as high as the pretzel ball cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, when I when I duplicated, I missed that. See one. what happened was I I drank some of his coffee. Is, uh, see, writing the news when I was chasing it Jordan around for my coffee, I went. Yeah. That's where I had stopped, and I came back, and I went. Well, that must be where I am. Oh boy. <laughs> Speaking of the pretzel pub chicken sandwich, Wendy's has become a hero denier by removing the pretzel pub from its regular menu. Thus. Undercutting everything this podcast has worked for. We're back at square one. It's yeah. pathetic. And square it's a hamburger. square burger. Oh, no. Oh, no. Man, it's like a square. <laughs> Circle gets the square. All right. When I... This is Eric. When <laughs> I went to order the pretzel pub chicken sandwich a couple of days ago, the woman taking my order was confused and eventually gave me an Asiago chicken sandwich, which was not what I ordered. And now I have reason to believe that Wendy's is actively working to sabotage this podcast. Asiago chicken of all the things? Yeah. There's even a new chicken sandwich, and you gave me an Asiago? I even, a couple times when the pub was around, I Mm -hmm. got that chicken popper one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like they're they're really working against us. It's not like it hasn't been gone that long. No, like did she just start working she here? Just went, it was no, like, I think what they did it was, was like it's, what, a, it's a it's a full scale mind wipe, Jordan. Yep. That's what I was going to say. Oh, they, they got ever existed. They got they got men in black. They did. It was old school though. They sat them down in the room and they, and they, got and they worms just they just in that movie. They just spun mm-hmm. a wheel. Wow, they got the worms in they the movie and they wiped their mind. Tommy Lee Jones is there. He's he's the big worm. He's the big worm. The giant. That's what they call him. TLJ, the big worm. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what he's known as. The Asiago chicken sandwich is not very good. It's just okay. I mean, it's their chicken, no. so it's fine. I mean, it's their chicken, so it's fine. But like, but how's the Asiago? I don't know what the Asiago is supposed to be because it's fun just, to say though. Yeah, but because it just had like a like Asiago. we go. It just had like a mayonnaise kind of on it. It was like kind of like, what? It was, it was like whack. I don't know. That is whack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wendy's also recently announced that they are changing their french fry recipe, stating that, quote, the new french fries have been redesigned to stay hot and crispy for up to 30 minutes after being taken out of the fryer, which is better than their old recipe where the fries were designed to not be very good at all. (laughs) Um, Their fries were fine. They weren't the worst fries, but they were not good fries. They weren't Burger King bad, but I don't think no. that they were. No, they, I don't they think weren't, anything they weren't, can be Burger King they bad. They weren't good fries. No. Maybe like in and out Yeah. Well, Maybe. who knows? Yeah. I, I always thought they were Only a little underrated. Only one way to find out. 
what Wendy's? You think Wendy's had underrated fries? Yeah, I, I think liked they them. were perfectly rated. Uh, yeah, low, incredibly low. I would say, look at this mid low opinions Maybe. coming together. Well, what but, is the show about? But if now, not that? and we're not rating them, so we can talk about the fries. Right. Some. They're way better now. They're absolutely better. They're way better. So we now. got the fries. Let's just try them. Mm. And Jordan was the first one. He, we all grabbed him. He took a bite. He went, those are the same fries. And I just went, <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> this guy's wrong. He also won't listen to us when we're saying they're a different shape. They are slightly, they're 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 slightly, are a different. slightly different shape. They're slightly they different. They are a different. And then he scoffed like we wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah. The, the pretzel pub boys. The guys who went there okay. 140 times. Who's 90% of text history is just pictures <laughs> of a sandwich. It really is. Just sandwich, it's sandwich, 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 other. sandwich, sandwich. It's just, <laughs> it's just sandwiches back and forth broken up by, hey, do you want to hang out this weekend? Yeah, man, see you here. All right, cool. Sandwich, 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 sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> and wait, wait, it was a vicious cycle because one would always yes, make the it, other one get one, the sandwich. One begat the other I'd every go, time. Oh, he's eating the sandwich? I'm mad. And yep. I'd go get the sandwich. And then I would do this. He would send it and I'd just go, fuck. And I'd order it on the app and I would go pick it up. Sounds like it's a gorgeous looking sandwich. Sounds it's like so another good. restaurant could swoop in and be <gasps> the hero if they just Whoa. introduced the exact same thing. Yeah. Who? Who Take could the pretzels. do pretzels? Who could do it with the chicken sandwich, though? I don't know. Hard to hard to say. Like a P. Terry situation? Or are we talking like global? Are we talking like bigger? Because Wendy's is the number two burger restaurant I mean, in the U.S. I mean, Sonic has pretzels. Nah, maybe just you chop them up into a yeah, bun. Maybe I don't know. reform them. I don't, know how, I don't know how pretzels work, but I'm, I'm just saying. I, you, I, you started the whole thing with I don't know and then started giving ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's way, that way I can't be attacked. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. right. It's smart. Know? It's... I don't I'm, know what, listen, full, I don't know what the fuck defense. I'm talking about. So here's my plan. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you question it, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And finally, the last of the first three, Pete. In June of this year, Wendy saw its stock sharply rise due to R slash Wall Street bets claiming it is, quote, the perfect stock for this sub, only to have the stock quickly Ball. This was all part of the plan and actually very smart, according to the weird coworker you have that you only see in virtual meetings now, so sometimes you forget he even exists. <laughs> I was going to make fun of people that work at GameStop, and then mm -hmm. I went, no, GameStop was the original thing. That's, right. Yeah. No, yeah. No. It's just people who... And, so, and some people made money on that. Yeah. Like a lot of money. Right. Some people. Very few people. Most people didn't. No. Most people are still on. The people who made money don't go to the sub anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the people still on that the, sub the are, people, are yes. trying to get. The people trying who to are make the money. voting and going diamond hands, diamond hands. Those are the people who work at Hot Topic and Spencer's Gifts right now. So sorry, right. guys. Well, they're what we call in America a temporarily embarrassed millionaire. That's true. Whoa. Yeah. I call them uh, forever embarrassing human people. They are. Uh, I agree with that. Yeah. I don't think they're. Oof. They're I'm not short. a. I'm not a stock guy. Mm -hmm. I You're don't. A stocky guy. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm a strong, mm -hmm. round guy. Yeah, <laughs> kind of like um, Grimace. <laughs> very much like Grimace. People say I'm. Decently tasting. It's um, embodiment of a milkshake. <laughs> but uh, if I were to go in yeah. on some sort of stock, mm -hmm. I'd probably buy more than four. Yeah, no. Just but, in any case. But, but I guess I guess the problem is when your discretionary income is $112, that's really all right, you've got Just throw to whatever with. you can at yeah. it. You can't buy the limited edition Call of Duty that comes with the statue. You have to just... Uh, I guess spend it on three stocks and go diamond hands, eight strong together, mm -hmm. and then hope that everyone makes you. <laughs> I rich. don't even know what you're saying. That's that's how that's how it works. I'm saying I'm glad. Yeah. That I, that should I invest in diamond hands? <laughs> <laughs> is that is that is what this, you're is to this where I become a stock guy? Uh -oh. How's ivermectin? It's oh. Can I put money in there? Oh, it's way up. Because yeah. <laughs> you give here's the thing. Here's the thing. You give me oh, the no. money. Oh no, I've been buying ivermectin. I should be buying ivermectin stocks. Uh, yep. You give me oh, no. the money. And then, does and then that I'll, still yeah. get the worms out? Uh -huh. I, can I eat the stocks? Yeah, if you get the stocks, you print out the paper and then you <laughs> eat the stocks, and the worms go, oh no, he's a broker. He's and a this guy man. He knows. <laughs> he's one of the owners. Ah! And they get out. The diamond hands come in and just yeah. ring the <laughs> they worms. They ring the worms. <laughs> <laughs> then you have ring worms. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't have worms. It's true. It's just different. It's different. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well, that's it. Mm -hmm. Fact up. You didn't put up the times. So I know. I, I know. Well, I he know. forgot his laptop. He didn't fucking laptop. do anything I was, today. I fell apart today. Man. God 
damn it. Our previous IHOP episode was released December 242019, where we ate the IHOP elf on a shelf menu format. Back then it was. Mm. It received an average score of 63. Yeah, well, we were generous. Well, I, yeah. Maybe I was. That was an early episode, and we were really <laughs> we generous. Weren't, we weren't righteous. No. We didn't have righteous fury yet. <laughs> right, right. Uh, although it was not a full episode, we've actually done IHOP two times before this, making this another, I don't know why it says another, first ever three-peat episode. <laughs> the IHOP Adam's Family Menu is available as an off-topic post-show from October of 2019. That's a popular general comedy mm-hmm. podcast don't try to go watch it it's no. on the post show and you have to pay for it yeah you and little, you so you, you can check it out there you little cretin if you want to see if you want to see sort of like a proto version of what this show is it's that if you want to see us do the show because we were waiting on other departments to let us make the show and i was getting angry about it yep. i just started making the show inside other shows yeah. <laughs> What, what other avenues can yep. we use? I mean, to that's make what it was. Mm-hmm. That's that, that's show. the real episode too. Yep. I got I got mad. <laughs> <laughs> Although known for their burgers, IHOP recently oh, rebranded to IHOP. Oh, and boasts that's a full menu of pancakes and other breakfast foods. Many hope the novelty wears off and they return. Two hamburgers. I mean, you got a hamburger today, so it was sort of an IHOP well, yeah, situation. Yeah, we were at IHOP. But we did get like get nineteen pancakes. That's, That's true. true. That is true. And one hamburger. So yeah. Pancake. Yeah. There's nothing really spooky about your hamburger either. No, that's not true. It was a it was a cowboy cheeseburger. Mm, cowboys aren't here anymore. They're dead. They're go- ghosts. Can you know, kind of like a Halloween costume. Yeah, that's a Halloween costume. Yeah. They dressed it up. They dressed it up. Had a little said, hat. Yeah, it's a trick or treat. <laughs> yeah. little, that's how they. Cowboy hat that's, on top. that's the rationale I made before I even spoke yeah. to you. Because yeah, yeah. I went, How is this on the Halloween menu? It's a cheeseburger. <laughs> oh, cowboy. Oh, oh yeehaw. yeehaw. <laughs> my, my cowboys eat people. Oh, wow. I only like cowboys that eat human flesh. Uh oh. Zombie cowboys. Damn. No, just uh, the, what's his name? The guy from uh, the Lone Ranger who eats people. Oh, the Army Hammer? Army Hammer, yeah, he eats people. Oh, oh God. Right? Yeah. Man, boy, was I waiting for an explanation. Yeah, that is the explanation. I thought it was going to be a Red Dead thing. No, like, I, like I didn't know what nightmare. it was. I, you thought, guys it was, are I being, thought it was a Johnny Depp You guys thing, are going maybe? nerd gamer stuff. I'm talking Hollywood out mainstream, here eating people. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm talking mainstream deep state eating people. De- Army Hammer's deep state Who eating people? Who else is eating people? Where does that state. fall, yeah. do you think? It's got to be a skull, do you think a skull and crossbones deep, type do, cult. Do you think eating people falls deep state or QAnon? I think mm. deep state. I think it's deep state, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think... They're, I think QAnon would eat the menu that we ate here today. <laughs> this is QAnon food, is what we fucking ate today. <laughs> it would be one guy... Going, do you hear what Biden did? And then he would order everything that anyway, we just did for himself. Yeah, he's one man. He's a- <laughs> and then, and then, then the waitress asked, did you smoke today? Did you smoke? Yeah. <laughs> God, you're right, I did. And he would say, are you silencing me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> While getting their first restaurant started, IHOP hired a Le Cordon Bleu schooled chef to create crazy pancake creations like the Tahitian orange pineapple and cowy oh coconut. God. Nobody liked them, and they fired the show. Oh Sixty years later, they threw some candy on pancakes and were wolfing it down pig style. So who got the last laugh? Their Le Cordon Blue chef. Well, he no, was they, ahead of the but curve. They, but they fired him, so he was not laughing. What does he care? Well, he's probably dead too. He's actually, if anything, pissed. He's- they threw candy on the pancakes. He got yeah. fired, and then, <laughs> and then we ordered something some kid made today. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The kid made it. <laughs> is, that not, is that even on here? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> the apple thing isn't technically part. So here's the thing: the the caramel apple all mode pancakes aren't technically part of the Halloween menu, but they are limited time. They were made by a child. They were made, they were created <laughs> by a kid, and they just went, put it on the fucking menu. <laughs> we fucking sucked <laughs> it down. And, and, and then they hired a Le Cordon Bleu chef, <laughs> and they went, fuck <laughs> you. That kid went donkey mode. Yeah, yeah no doubt. <laughs> All right. Is this the last fact? <laughs> yep. Here we go. Since our last IHOP episode, none of us have eaten at IHOP, nor have we heard any news on IHOP the kangaroo, who we still have to assume is dead. Plus, 
I, this is Eric, still can't find any Rule 34 of him, but I found someone who drew him, like, as a fursuit to wear, so that's progress, maybe. That's that's one foot in the door. <laughs> that's on, pretty good. On Rule 34. Somebody yeah. wants somebody to draw that guy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Someone said, look. That's like Rule 17. Is, <laughs> they said, here's IHOP, the kangaroo from IHOP. But as a rubber suit, you can wear, and it just looked like him, but you could see, it's like when he puts on the fucking monkey mask, and you can see, like, eyes inside of it. <laughs> uh, it was not, it was gross. It made me uncomfortable. I forgot about IHOP the kangaroo. Well, didn't we all? Yeah, well, he's dead, rest in peace. Who said? I forgot about IHOP until Stop! Today. Yeah. You looked the way he did it again. <laughs> he killed, he, he killed did, the kangaroo. He executed like, him again. He did execution style. Um, I like that we were discussing this. I just looked up what we were eating today. Yeah. Like, what the menu was. And then Nick chimed in, and Nick, I guess, uh, preparing to blow our minds, was like, I haven't eaten at IHOP since the last episode. And I was like, whoa, why would any of us have eaten there since the last episode? And you were, you said something like, yeah, no shit. <laughs> what, a, what a reveal. <laughs> Guys, get a load of this. <laughs> God, God, I know, this is going to be hard. This is going to be a tough pill to swallow. I have not eaten at IHOP since December of 2019. What have you been eating for breakfast? Yeah, what do you, what right. do you mean? We go all the time. Where, where do you get a breakfast where crew? Do you get, where do you get your burgers? Where do you get your candy? Your, <laughs> they got everything at IHOP. <laughs> I also said right before we recorded, I do feel overall better than when we ate Fridays. Like my body yes. was shutting down yeah. and my stomach hurt. But I did say, man, I got a headache. And mm -hmm. everyone chimed in. They have a headache. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the sugar going. It's really crawling up that, into my brain yeah, right That now. Friday's episode, was that the one where we didn't record the episode mm -hmm. that day? Mm -hmm. Like we did it the next day? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because we were like so out. Yeah, of we it. felt like shit. Remember? What if? What would that episode have been? If I, I have no idea because I think that's the only time that happened. We were like, we were fading I forgot fast. About Me that. too. Yeah. I mean, it was like awful. Yes, it was a full body we, awful. We truly felt fucking. I think insane. I went home and went to bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we all. Yeah, because we were texting each other later, going like, <laughs> uh. I just woke up. Dude, dude, there's always various episodes. Someone go, I just woke up. And like, yeah, I, I just threw up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I took a shit. And that's it's step bad. two. <laughs> it's like, there's, that's, that's, there's a post show somewhere in there. Yeah. Uh, we, like, later that night. Yeah, later that, <laughs> face jam after the eat. <laughs> there, are, uh, there are episodes of this show where I feel like we get through it and it's fine. Like we feel okay. It's not like a struggle. We don't feel like shit. And then there are other episodes where it is just like somebody hit us with a bat. And then we feel like we've done 10 hours of work I in the hour and a half that we've been there eating. And then we go, we have to record a fucking episode. It's true. Oh, but I, I think most of the time though, when we actually sit down to record the episode, we have that, uh, that like stage thing mm -hmm. where it's like, I don't give a fuck if I'm sick. I don't care if I'm dying. Oh, yeah. I don't care if I'm throwing up. I'm going to do the performance. And then you the finish and you drop dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you go to the ER, but they don't let you in because there's no space. I mean, what is it? <laughs> you're, just, you're just left outside. Oh, why? Did everyone you know, else record podcasts? You know, you know that you know that like old like, uh, oh, uh, we fucked up our friend and he's dying yeah. or they overdosed and they dump him out front of the right. ER and they drive away like mm -hmm. that old cliche. That's people us see, dumping people, ourselves. Well, people see that now and they go, get this man in the hospital. Hospital and the hospital goes, No, no, we rolled them out there. Yeah, There's yeah, no space. Yeah, yeah. No, we put him out. No, 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 we put him out here. Yeah, Come yeah. back in three days. He recorded too many podcasts today. Yeah. He's yeah. wiped we out. We don't have room. I don't, it's the QAnon ward is blowing up. It's taking over the whole place. And it's people, so IHOP is getting crazy in here. This guy ate too much IHOP and Ivermectin. People, people keep saying, uh, Learn from me. Don't eat everything on the Halloween. <laughs> it's a cautionary <laughs> tale. Yeah. It's not political, guys. Yeah, and then they and then somebody else replies to say the deep state got you. I'm going to order yeah. everything on the IHOP menu. This would never happen to me. I'm and not out here eating people like Army Hammer. Yeah, somebody else posts tagging tagging that person mm -hmm. in face in a Facebook post, and it's like prayer warriors. We need you, <laughs> Uncle <laughs> Uncle Scott is in the hospital after eating too much IHOP, the IHOP <laughs> Halloween menu. And then and then the, the the TLDR is we need someone to fill his seat. Yes, <laughs> who who will come and eat these cakes? <laughs> Prayer warriors, we need you. <laughs> Uh, that's a that's a staple of the Herman oh, Cain Award dude. subreddit. Abso absolutely. Oh shit! Can't believe how many people eat this fucking Halloween menu, bro. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. Damn, dude. Yep. I'm I'm getting big. 
Oh, no. I think this is setting it off. This, I'm still, yeah. I'm still you know, sipping on for this For some hot reason, cocoa. I took a drink, and then I was like, it's making me, this away It's making me. me grow. I feel like, I feel like fucking a monster, mm-hmm. and Rita Repulsa is making me grow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Make my Michael grow. <laughs> Come on, Jordan, it's morphin' time. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's go. <laughs> we are good, uh, yeah. good, good topper on that one, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shrinking. Oh, no. This just tastes... He's grown, I'm shrinking. Here's the thing about this hot, the Reese's hot cocoa. Like, it, it, we have rare opportunities for, you know, Face Jam in general, yeah. where we can attack other people. Yeah. <laughs> and then we <laughs> rarely are all four of, four of us united at something unless it's a shitty restaurant. Right. But now it's other people. And it's either someone, Drew, yeah. like <laughs> being upset and hating it, yeah. or another crew member like not getting it yep. because they don't they don't they, understand. They don't understand. Our I'll throw something out and then those be like, oh, that's crazy. And I go, ah, oh, never mind. Yeah, don't don't worry about <laughs> I'll that. I'll say yeah. something absurd. Mm-hmm. Fucking like like I said something to Drew it, again. Uh, this is like 16 hours, right? Where he's like, oh, we gotta do da 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 da. Just being an asshole, I go, what do you mean? And he goes, well, and he starts explaining it to it, and, and I'm just staring at him and going, oh, wow. And he's like, well, say, fuck you. And he just like walks off. <laughs> and then I'm just laughing for 30 seconds. We were we were driving today, and we're following Drew in, in, the, in the other van, and he radios to us, hey, it looks like uh, one of your headlights is out. And we're like, oh, shit. Okay, we'll have to figure I'll that out. Have a whole conversation about yeah, it. it. I, was fuck, like, we, I was like trying yep. to troubleshoot. I was like, maybe it's one of the daylight yeah, runners. Like, I, I'm thinking like, fuck, like, we're going to have to get that fixed. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We, we can't, we can't day, go that far with that. We can't yeah. go that many Nuh-uh. days. Three um, minutes later. Yeah. Three minutes later, he just goes, oh, never mind. I think it's one of your blinker lights. Yeah. I, I just had your well, blinker I mean, on. I mean, to be fair, he goes, I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, it was the blinker. You had your blinker We all laugh uncontrollably. Yeah. We the go next turn. We get to. half a mile down the road, and Drew is pulling up to a stop sign, and he puts on his right blinker. And, and I, think, the second it comes up, I go, "Tell him his lights. <laughs> tell him his lights out." And then grabs the radio. He goes, "There's something wrong with your light." And, and Drew just like goes, instantly just goes back and he goes, and we laugh for like three minutes. He goes. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. Is it so much funnier that like he's just like not even in the same car as yep. us? Yep. And we're like, ah, there he is. The second that light turned on, I started laughing. Yep. Like, tell, tell him his lights out. Oh, tell him his lights fuck. out. Get this motherfucker. Yeah, shit. It was so funny. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> 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 oh fuck dude oh. i love it it's like it, this is like the face jam expanded universe yeah it's a pretty good one this has been awesome i can't wait to see the turn yeah i yeah. can't wait to look back on this and go you idiot people are gonna show up on saturday and be like man the energy was weird it felt like they hated these each guys other. fucking hated each it was other. weird that they all stood like back to back and never looked at each other <laughs> Hey, can because, I get a picture because, with all of you? Absolutely is, which not. Which is weird because just today, Nick suggested we all pee towards each other. Yeah, what is he that? Said, he said, let's all get in the van, face each other, and urinate. <laughs> and I thought that was very weird. Nick is shaking his head, which I assume means yes. We were out on the side of the road at one point, and I just kept going, like, doing something. And I go, fuck, I got to piss. And he goes, I can get one of the piss bags, which is a Ziploc bag I've, deter- I've, I've uh, designated as uh-huh. a piss bag. We haven't used it yet. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And he goes... He used one of the piss bags. And I looked at him and I went, yeah, or I could just piss on the ground. <laughs> and he went, oh, that'll work too. And then, and then he went, he said something like, or we could, and I went, go back to the van, all face each other and piss. That's weird. Yeah, why would you say that? <laughs> why, why would, I, I feel like I finished your sentence and I don't understand why you were going to say that. And then I just kept telling everyone, everyone I would walk up to everyone and go, everyone. hey, you're never going to believe what Nick just said. Guess what? Nick he said we should all me. look at each other and piss in the van. I thought it was really weird. Why did he keep saying that? <laughs> I also at one point we had we had a cooler we did oh we did an you did an Instagram live thing yeah. from the Achievement Hunter account and it was like oh, when yeah. we it was when we left yesterday and that's when I came up with the piss bag I started pulling shit out I'm like yeah. oh you have piss bags and so then after that I decided to test the uh, efficacy of the bag and so we had a we had a cooler with a bunch of ice that was already melting and so I took the bag I opened it and I shoved it in and I pulled it out see if it was hold it would hold water and it did and I was like boom. We got this ready in case we see a goldfish on the side of the road. <laughs> we can throw it right in there. And, and Nick was like, man, 
we have to act fast. <laughs> I'm like, dude, if someone throws one out and we see it, we're good to go. That was it. Whatever. We get to the fucking hotel last night. Get in the hotel. Everything. I think it was this morning. It was this morning. It was this morning. We're settling the bag. And it was like, Drew's like, yeah, let's go ahead and like dump, dump the water yep. from the cooler bag. And I go, hey, save the fish bag. And he goes, what? And I go, I got a fish bag in there in case we find a fish on the side of the road. And he goes, no fucking way. And he picks it up and he looks at it. And I was like, yeah, what's up? And he goes, oh, I thought you said you found a fish. <laughs> and I was like, what? No, in case we do. He's like, I thought you said you did find a fish. And he's like holding up this Ziploc bag. Looking, bag that's empty. Looking into it going, where's the fish? No way, you did? It was, it was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how the road trip's been yeah, so, so we far. Ate Whataburger. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My wrapper uh, was yellow because it had cheese. Yep. All right. Let's get into these facts. Uh, Whataburger see facts. What happens. Here we go. Let's just see. Oh, let's just let's fire through these real quick. Our previous Whataburger episode was released April fourteenth, twenty twenty, where we ate the barbecue bacon burger, also known as the BBQBB. Mm -hmm. Michael ate five, and Dr Pepper Shake. It received an average score of seventy. Four. Adequate. It's mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. It's a good. It's a good barbecue burger. Easy, All easy, five of them. Easy burger. Uh, what a burger is not better than In and Out. I don't know where that came from. It has to stop. Whoa. That's I, the fact. I don't, I don't even understand that. I wouldn't even compare the two. I, that's I, I agree. I, I don't think one's better than the other. Uh, I just think you shouldn't compare. No, them. No, no. I agree with you. So stop comparing them. Who's who is? I, I hear that from everyone. There Who's is everyone? It. Name names. I hear this. You're from, pointing this at Nick. And yes, he is acting incredulous. Uh huh. I'm here. I hear this from Malcolm. Everyone in Austin. Okay, beyond this guy, who uh -huh. else? Oh, it's everyone at work. It's everyone who grew up in Texas. Yes, versus it's, everyone who moved here from California. Exactly. I, again, I I like to think that I have a little bit of a unbiased opinion. Yeah, I agree. You being from uh, the East Coast, you would, uh, yeah. I, I couldn't even comprehend here's a message it. One's in, a one's a big old flat burger, and yep. one's like a fucking pepper burger, yep. dude. In and Out and P Terry's. Now those are fucking. Those, those are the same. Place. Those are like, man, they put a lot of shit on this burger. Yep, like spices and shit. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Here, here's a message in a um, work Slack channel. Uh, 170 members. Uh, oh, this morning's meeting inadvertently began an In and Out versus Waterburger debate. Oh. I vote we run an experiment for research. Who's game? And then people, it has 36 replies that I am not going to read. Let me tell you, but let me tell the you a debate scenario. is ongoing. Let me tell you yep. a scenario. Imagine a scenario where I was in that channel. Mm -hmm. and, and Let the debate begin. Michael has left the channel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, about, it's about right. It's, uh, yeah. Yep. What? Yep. But I, I think All the right. comparison has to stop. Pizza Hut or DiGiorno? Yeah. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Didn't you want via 313 or a tombstone? <laughs> weird. Man, I yeah, want not, Red Baron. Not, yep. uh, weird. In 1950, Whataburger pioneered the Quarter Pounder Burger, which is weird because the burger is the worst thing you can get at Whataburger. I might have written sure. this fact before, but I stand by it. What's... What else do you get? The chicken is better. Chicken. It's fine. Uh, he, the chicken I, hang on. barbecue sandwich. I, I, need, I need you to understand what just happened. Go ahead. He's you mad. read that fact, and he was furious. And then I said the chicken, and he went, oh, yeah. <laughs> what else is there? There's the burger and chicken. It's the chicken. Yeah, and but, the chicken's but, better what are you? But, okay, back it up. If you're mad, uh -huh. then the chicken satisfies uh -huh. you. What else did you think? Oh, he, he thought that the burger was the best thing there, and then he heard the chicken. He's going to list some other stuff. But what I'm asking you, what else is there besides the burger and the chicken? Breakfast, dessert, other shit? He's talking more. These are, this is, you those were all sentences. I know. You see well, what well, they were one word sentences. Yeah. He would start, he got, uh, dessert. Period. Fries. Period. Everything. Period. Uh, the burger's good. I yeah I like the burgers honestly I, I think the burgers are fine I think the chicken is superior They're fine I, I always get the burgers I don't get the chicken yeah I I'm think that I think the, I, the I, chicken there is my good. only go to like of of like the big three mm -hmm. for me in Texas mm -hmm. is McDonald's mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Wendy's and Whataburger as far as burgers right of like there's a million of them right like, um, Wendy's is my chicken joint. Mm. When I go to Wendy's, oh, yeah. I would never get anything else. No, I, I agree. If I want yeah. chicken, I go to Wendy's. If I want Whataburger, and, and then again, it's like, do I want a McDonald's burger or yeah. a Whataburger burger? Because they're different. Uh, chicken, I go to Wendy's. 
However, though, I hate them now, and they can burn in hell. Yeah, right, exactly. I, I kid you not, haven't been there since. I haven't either. Whoa. The last time I've been there was, was since the, was the, for the, episode. the big yeah. cheddar fucking yep. piece of shit fucking fuck you burger. I think, I think they called it the pub killer. I, they, I mean, that's what I called it. <laughs> yep. Because, and I'm, I'm, I ha- I'll am i sit there and go, should I go to Wendy's? <sighs> what the fuck is the point? Exactly. <laughs> uh, but I'll have you know up to like yesterday, people go, hey, did you hear? Yep. They don't it, have it. It's constant. I, so it has to did be you? a slow thing. I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my pub burger? Hey, I heard they're getting rid of it. Yep. Also, Al Gore didn't win. <laughs> Damn you, hanging oh, Chad. Oh, man. I got uh, bad news in about like three elections. Yep. Oh, it's going to be rough. Uh, the thing that I would compare Whataburger to is more like Jack in the Box than I would in and yes. where, where. Yes, that is know, much. Me, those like, are much more comparable I as guess, far as their but, burgers. But yeah. to be fair, Jack in the Box sucks compared to Whataburger. I don't know anything that I would compare to like Whataburger of equal caliber. I think Jack in the Box tries to be Whataburger. Mm-hmm. I think Jack in the Box sucks. Fuck you, you weird it's also, ice cream cone freak. It's also still banned on this show. It's banned as yeah. shit, and it can burn in hell. Yeah. Okay? I guess we're Fuck stuck it. with Whataburger. I mean, again, I love it. Yeah, I, stuck, I, Nick. I get people from Texas hating other people from Texas who love it because they're like, it's bad and you should feel bad because it, you were taught it. Right. And you it's don't like, think that. It's not your own brain. It's, it's like Australians it's who hate weird. Vegemite. Right. They have a legitimate yep. steak. I or have no problem telling people I like it because I came in, I ate it, and I went, oh, I like that. And mm-hmm. that's it. Same thing. My mother, she loves it. She can we get Whataburger? And I go, really? don't, don't look at wow. me. And then I get her Whataburger. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, you can customize your Whataburger order nearly Four zero comma zero 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 ways. Why say it that way? Forty thousand ways. <laughs> so many ways. Terrible navigation app. Mm. <laughs> Hardly any of them good, but all of them incredibly salty and probably wrong. This guy doesn't like Whataburger. It's it's a it's a fine place where everyone goes. If you go there one time and you order something and you go, I didn't really like that. Everyone who likes it goes, We well, ordered the wrong thing. I don't know what to tell you. I ordered Whataburger. I don't. I. I. There's again, forty thousand ways you could do it wrong. Here's, yeah, here's, here's and that's what I've pro- done. Here's the problem. <laughs> Still looking here's, for the good one. Here's, yep. here's my biggest problem. Look, you can go to Whataburger and say you hate it, which you do. Which at the In and Out thing of him going, it's not better than In and Out. I took that as In and Out's better. Right. Mm-hmm. But according to him, yes. But then he said, stop comparing them, and I thought, yes. okay, maybe this is an attack on Whataburger. And then mm-hmm. I read all the other facts. <laughs> and then, and then every like, other fact. I hate you. I hate you. Attack. I hate you. I hate you. I hate right. you. Die. Yeah. Die. 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 Yeah. Die. Right. But Look, to, to your point, but he's not saying In and Out's better. It's also, true. He is saying Whataburger's point, bad. Yeah. Also, to my point, uh-huh. that's I don't give a fuck. <laughs> He doesn't eat it. Uh, doesn't true. bother me at all. Yep. I like it. What pisses me off, mm-hmm. and I'm with you here, is people defending their food, going, you're wrong. Yeah. yeah. Eat it. I don't it, give a fuck I mean, where you eat. Like, just fuck go, off. Just go, oh, you don't like it? Cool. Oh, cool. Whatever. Yep. There's going to be a lot of people and, mad in the comments. And that's it. Yeah. Yep. Because I someone has to be right, and someone has to be wrong. Every time you yep. eat Whataburger, I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, cool. I, I might there's Whataburger. There's plenty of people that like fucking eating garbage, like Arby's, and yep. getting their dicks melted. Yeah. Okay? And fucking going to Fazoli's. Di- dude, fucking, uh, you know, live strong, melt on. Yeah, I don't know, what do you want me to tell you, dude? Arby's, we have the dick melts. You know, Arby's, oh. don't like your dick? We'll take care of it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fine with me. People get too defensive about too yeah. many things. It's okay for someone not to like the thing you like. I just, who cares? Who yep. gives a shit? You're not eating it. You're not eating it, and it's making me angry. Whataburger Ketchup has a conspiracy around it stating that the number on the bottom corresponds to a flavor profile. The company denies the rumors. But I, Eric, assume Nick confirms them and has favorite ketchup numbers, probably. What's your favorite ketchup number? 16. I know. <laughs> he said 69. That's what he whispered like to that woman jerk. when she took a picture of him. <laughs> you got a skinny waist. 69. Uh, <laughs> let me just tell you, if you're in for Nick me and a weirdo freak yep. and condiments, the VODs are for you. I'll you are, you are going to yep. love these yep. big uh, time. And those are the very hateful bias <laughs> facts. Let's do it. 
Our previous Papa John's episode was released February 18th, 2020, where we ate the Papa John's Papa Diaz. It received an average score of 85. You both Very gave good. It. it was good. 85. It was good. I remember it. Because it, it was pizza that was folded. It was mm-hmm. pizza that was folded. It was decent pizza. And I, and I think it, we were just kind of surprised because it was Papa John's. Like yeah. It was better than I th- Again, yeah. Pizza Hut, man, it's not doing them any favors. They're handicapping themselves. Your Pizza Hut. Yeah. Stop yeah. being terrible. Stop having bad pizza. Right, dude. Uh, Papa John started his pizza company in the back of a broom closet like Harry Potter. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on. No. The back of a broom closet? Uh-huh. Wrote, so he, he didn't even have the whole broom closet? Well, well no. It was – there was three other tenants. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, continuing. This is Eric. I got a lot of these facts from the Fox News website, and they had a lot of good things to say. Must be a coincidence. <laughs> they they were really hammering on like, wow, this man started a pizza company by himself. He pulled himself up by his bootstraps. And also the broom closet was in his father's bar. And also they had a partner who helped them buy out all this no, stuff. And no. also they bought the company next door with, to start selling pizzas out of. With a small loan of $1 million. <laughs> That's exactly yeah, what it was. an entrepreneur. It was like, oh, this is really... Man, they just kind of put it right out they there. Just, they just stopped at broom closet. Yeah. They didn't really nope. think they needed to expound on that. Nope. Fair and balanced. Mm-hmm. Definitely. In 2012, former Indianapolis Colts quarterback Peyton Manning <laughs> invested <laughs> in 21 Papa John's franchises. No one can say what Peyton knew at that time, but he sold his franchises in February of 2018 and Papa John was fired in July 2018. <laughs> he knew. He knew. He absolutely knew. <laughs> he like, popped out. He, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, he called an audible on that yeah, one. Uh-huh. He, was, oh. he, he, saw, he saw the writing on the wall. <laughs> Thanks for not mentioning the Broncos. You got it. No problem, man. Because they were 30. Well, at, at that time, it was 31 Papa John's franchises in Denver. In Denver, yeah. <laughs> Which wouldn't make sense, nope. being that he's the Colts quarterback. Hey, you, nope. want, you, want, you want to hear this yeah. little sports knowledge? I'm mm-hmm. the sports guy. Eli Manning. Wow. wow! He is quarterback. He is a guy for the Giants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. way to go, man! Thank you, thank you. Dang, I know sports guy Michael. I know. Speaking of sports guys, at Game Six of the 2008 NABA Finals, <laughs> a local <laughs> Papa NBA. John. Oh, I don't know. What Stands for non disclosure agreement. <laughs> A local Papa John's franchise distributed T-shirts with LeBron's number and the word "crybaby" on the back. That's I have that. We have two of those shirts. Papa John's corporate claims they were not involved, and we believe them because you'd have to assume if they were involved, they probably would have chosen a different word. <laughs> He's trying to get it out of his you think vocabulary. They'd say hero. That's what they. That's put? what I'm thinking. Yeah. I mean, he, he's. Why would he be trying guy. to get hero out of his vocabulary? No, who, oh, I don't know. I hadn't thought about. I mean, again, they're Dude, saying they're not involved. I'm going to be honest again. Uh-huh. The sports guy here, classic crybaby. Cry, there you go. LeBron James mm-hmm. always crying. Mm-hmm. It's, they always got to come out and mop up the court. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, get the bucket. Oh, little baby got a boo boo again. <laughs> classic crybaby. They do bring in the mops in mm-hmm. between uh, in between the courts. Yeah, so. it's now true. you know it's just for him. Yep. <laughs> Even when he's not playing. Even when he's not there, his tears remain. Mm-hmm. There's like a permeation to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He plants them, yeah. and then they grow. <laughs> his tears are sprouting up again. Tear trees? Yeah. Wow. Uh, like an oasis in oh. the desert. You see? Oh, that makes sense. Dry, dry, dry. I'm he on a basketball court. Like <laughs> squeak, like squeak, squeak. Dry. That's the squeaks. Every time you hear a squeak, you know LeBron shed a yep. tear. Yep. The final fact. Papa John ate 40 pizzas. That's four zero pizzas in 30 days, then swore. To eat 50 pizzas in 30 days. He has still not eaten the 50 pizzas in 30 days. Fucking pussy. <laughs> this is a copy and paste from the last time we did Papa John's because he still has <laughs> yeah, not hasn't done eaten. it. Yeah, I know he said it. Where's his day of reckoning? Yeah, no kidding. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey. Pretty, yeah. pretty tough. Yeah, huh? how come pretty, no pretty one's rough. holding him accountable? <laughs> <laughs> And you can see his life has been ruined uh-huh, uh-huh. with his islands that he owns. And What's shit? his most recent TikTok? When was the last time he put up? A- Did he ever TikTok? finish that mansion tour? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> oh, we're like it's like an eagle fighting like a right. like a falcon or something. Right. His, his son was popping up in commercials. No pun intended. Uh, at the end there, before he he got fired. But uh, what what do you think he's up to? 
He's probably trying to start a small business from his dad's mansion in a broom closet. <laughs> in the broom closet. In the broom closet of the, the John estate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the John estate. Papa John is still active on wow. TikTok. I thought you were going to say he's still active and then stop. He has Just five. Like he's still alive. He has he's not so gone the way of Danny Bonaduce <laughs> yet. <laughs> he's following. He died in 2010. Yeah. That's what crazy. an insane thing to pull out of your ass. <laughs> No, that's right. Date what, it and what are you? What are you? A Reddit comment? Yeah, <laughs> just uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Where'd you hear that? I said this. Somebody said it. Yeah, once. I heard Jeremy say it to Alfredo <laughs> one time. <laughs> you don't know it. They're friends of mine. Yeah, <laughs> uh, not really. Uh, so you know their got... names. I don't know that they know your name. Mm, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Papa. Oh, oh, day of reckoning. <laughs> and those are just the facts. There you go. Did you Man. learn a lot? Not really. Oh, what? Oh, he is pissed about the food. <laughs> Welcome to Face Jam, the show where Nick gets pissed about the food. <laughs> we also try every new fast food creation, asterisk, not everyone, but as much as we can, to let you know if you need it. You probably do. Thanks to DoorDash and HelloFresh for making this show possible. Just food on food on food. Oh, yeah. I'm your host, Michael Jones, alongside my co-host, Jordan Sweers. Jordan, how are you? On this, great. On this it's a very rainy, rainy day. Rainy, cloudy, thundery, lightningy day. Yeah. I took a shower this morning. Almost died. Did, were you showering outside? I don't know. What if my house got struck by lightning and it shot through the pipes? Oh, then we all almost died. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I hadn't considered that. I didn't no. shower this morning, so I, oh, I, Jordan, I usually don't. Jordan lived. I was feeling yeah. mm-hmm. bold, dirty. <laughs> well, I like that. It's like <laughs> Jessica Simpson when she said she liked the grime on her teeth. What the fuck? Yeah, that's, that's like way back in like newlyweds uh, days where she like, that you, know, like my, the, you know, like the yeah. white film if you don't brush your teeth. Yeah, uh, she was that. like, she was like, I like scraping it off. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, that made my butthole so tight. Yeah. Like I feel. Uh-huh. Oh, that made my butthole. So tight. <laughs> I don't know why anyone's butthole's doing anything. <laughs> I'm talking about. Uh, oh, she like scrapes it off. I, I, something to that effect, right? Again, I'm basing this on like MTV newlyweds. What is that? Uh, 15, 20 years ago. What did ago? Nick Lachey have to say about I, this? I don't think he liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Are we eating chicken or tuna today? Oh! oh. That's a reference. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. Chicken of the sea. Today, we are reviewing chicken of the land. Oh, no. Uh. Like, I don't like the way my mouth feels when I wake up in the morning. Yeah, right? When asked why she isn't a regular teeth brusher, you know, like an adult, a normal person. <laughs> Eric, why aren't you a Eric, regular <laughs> teeth brusher? <laughs> What's going on? Simpson <laughs> gave a somewhat you? unexpected and weird answer. Quote, because my teeth are so white and I don't like them to feel too slippery, Simpson explained. What? My lips just slide all over the what place. What is Hang happening? Hang on. I can't catch up with my mouth. I need a little coating, a little plaque. A little coating. That's a quote. I do use Listerine and I do floss every it's day. It's why she's such a good singer. What? She's Does got it? a little bit Wait. of traction on oh. her lips. I know it's gross, but I always have fresh breath. Mm-hmm. She's uh, I doubt that very she, much. I gotta take my hoodie off. Hold on. She brushes her teeth three times a week, but flosses every day. And, and that has mouthwash. to be. Oh, that has to be so fucking disgusting. Probably because she gets the gunk and she likes it, <clears throat> like the gunk buildup on the floss. <clears throat> She uses like non-white floss so she can watch it turn white. <laughs> My floss started red and now it's she just, white. It's all just <laughs> it's just chunks. She well, she probably has red floss. It tastes like cinnamon, and she it. doesn't have to see her blood. I hope someone's eating the sandwich right oh. now. <laughs> Don't talk about the food. Jordan took his sweatshirt off and his hair went wild. Yeah, he, uh, it's just surprising. Looks like he just woke up. I think it looks cool. It looks good, but he's always like a cartoon character. He's exactly the same. <laughs> And so it's weird. That I'm he's glad different. you think that. I put a lot of effort yeah, yeah, yeah. into it. I just show up how I show up. <laughs> yeah. And you might notice that. You are I a, went car- to, you're went a cartoon to character with different seasons where you have a season where you're sunglasses and a little hat, and right. then season where you have long hair. Mm-hmm. And th- there's just like different changes. Right. So, there's Michael a, there's sleeps a, in his face jam by there's, sure. <laughs> there's a clear lack of giving a shit mm-hmm. most times. Mm-hmm. And it only accelerated with children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Totally understandable. Um, anyway, 12 minutes. Do they, good? do they oh, brush their teeth more than three times a week? Uh, they don't, but I get to. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Sure. Yeah. See? I'm starting to think he's wrong and it's Church not Church's facts. Here we go. Let's get on to the facts. Let's do it. Something's happening on the show. A true Texas original. Church's Chicken opened in 1952 
in San Antonio, right across the street from the Alamo. Remember that? The draft house? Or no, the, the boring uh, Alamo, one. The first, the that one was on 6th bo- Street. No, no, the boring one. The one that's just kind of an empty room? Yeah, well, no, the, no, the boring A Alamo. A bunch of people said we should go die there. Yeah, yeah. they said we should go die there. Yeah. Everyone was going to die there. Mm-hmm. Did they? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Remember that. Remember that. <laughs> Remember the church's chicken. <laughs> Across the street Across from the street. Alamo. Yeah, should have went there. <laughs> I didn't know it was from Texas. Yeah, I didn't either until I wrote this fact sheet at 4 a.m. Good for you. Here's your sticker. You're allowed to sleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I continue? Absolutely. Are you done with yeah. your banter? No, I was waiting for I'm Jordan. sorry. I thought the wet in your whistle was over. Now you're talking about your sleep schedule. But which one was Elsa? Let's get, let's get back on track. <laughs> well, the older one, obviously. Oh. Churches has over 1,700 locations around the world, including restaurants in... I don't even know how to pronounce this. Bahrain. Sure. Bahrain. The walrus. I am the walrus. Honduras. And Singapore. Uh, and more. And more. Singapore. Known in these countries as Texas chicken. Now, if you're traveling in New Zealand, you can stop there and still say, why did we go here? Just like in America. <laughs> you call it Texas chicken everywhere? I think yeah. like you said that before you've ever even been there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> you're still I, dogging on him. I knew we were getting <laughs> into <laughs> there, 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 well, There's a reason he hasn't How many been. times have yeah. you had it? I had no I mean, fucking doubt. Uh, yeah, so they were called Church's Chicken around the world, and then they closed a bunch of them, and then a bunch of them opened back up, and they went, uh, Texas chicken. I can't imagine a place called Church's Chicken was really big in Bahrain. There was a there was a problem in Malaysia where it was called Texas Chicken, but on their sides, like the cups and stuff, they serve everything in. It said it said Church's Chicken, and everyone went, "What the fuck!" <laughs> and they thought they were coming into impart religion. And I went, "That's pretty cool." Whoa. But they probably were. Yeah, yeah. If it's from Texas. Yeah. They I would think so. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they came with promise of a new god. It's Joe all Rogan. it's all that soft power. It's all that soft chicken. In the late Chicken 90s, power. churches partnered with White Castle to create co-franchise restaurants along the East Coast. Whoa, tell this me more. This is like the co-franchise of Pizza Hut and Taco Bell, but less successful and for drunker people. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Why? Yeah, so I, never, I never heard of that. I'm that from I, the East Coast. It, could had you no pick idea. two worst restaurants to combine? Exactly what I thought. Not even like Popeye's and White Castle, which to me is like... Yeah, you know, like that. Yeah, that almost fits a little bit more. Yeah, church's chicken pairing with anything is very like. Yeah, I'm oh. not gonna go to either of those. Yeah. They're, now they're both contaminated. I don't understand pairing at all. No, just go. Why do to you the need? Restaurant. Why do you need a combination pizza hut Taco Bell? It's, it's, I don't it's, understand. They do worse versions of both things. Yeah, and the right. menu's smaller Agreed. on both sides. What whack? I yeah. still don't know what green burrito is. No, that's oh. with the, the with Carl, the Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. Original. You can just get a taco there. That's it. Whoa. Yeah. Couldn't you get tiny tacos somewhere? Where was that? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I don't Wait, know what that is. How come static just came out of your mouth? <laughs> yeah. You can get tiny uh-huh. tacos at bleep. Yeah. <laughs> is that what we're doing now? You it's opened your mouth fan. and the, the internet dial up tone uh-huh. just <laughs> came yeah, out. Dude. <laughs> Despite church being part of the name, Church's Chicken is not a church oh. and has no affiliation with. Any churches. Oh. This fact is straight up taken from a mashed article <laughs> just in case you thought maybe this was a church too. Mm-hmm. Oh, like that the church is... is saying that it's not a church? Yeah. How do we know Mashable's not a church? Why oh, name it wow. that? I uh, Because the guy's name is, uh, was it William G. Church? Just don't something do like it. That? Yeah. It's, just don't do it. Yeah. No, if, call it Texas if, Chicken. If you're going to have to come out and go, we're not a church. Don't put church in the name. I don't know. <laughs> emergency room hamburger. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> we're going to get to the emergency room. Oh, no, not it's again. <laughs> I was really looking for a place to pray instead yeah. of <laughs> serving up chicken. <laughs> well, I mean, since I'm here. Well. So it was named after the red versus blue guy. Yeah. That was right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In 1952. <laughs> Working in tandem with the sandwich we got today, probably not true based mm-hmm. on what Eric wrote at the mm-hmm. top. We didn't order that. <laughs> right. Churches launched an online petition to, quote, get bacon back on the map. We don't need that. We do don't. That. We also didn't do it don't. with the sandwiches we ate today. No, we didn't need it. Stating <laughs> that they want the city of Bacon, Texas, 
back on the map after, quote, falling off. What does that mean? The petition sits at a whopping, I added the whopping, uh -huh. 183 signatures. So if you thought things were bleak before in Bacon, Texas, just know that not even 200 people care if you're a place or not. <laughs> that was a good fact to end on. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a place it's a place outside of Wichita Falls. <laughs> okay. That is and I looked is not on the map anymore. But oh! used to be. Is it not even on Google Maps? Oh! Uh, you you could search it on Google Maps and I couldn't find like the city of Bacon but oh! like you search it, it's just outside of Wichita Falls. <laughs> what happened to it? I think there I think the population they is probably so low and yeah they ate all the bacon. I mean it's like the bacon that we got on our sandwiches it's just Dang. not there. How do I um, sign this petition? Uh, I can online. I can include a link in the description, I suppose, if we can get it up over that two hundred. Yeah, pagan. that that's it. That would be the that's face jam just push. Just two hundred. Yeah, that would be the face jam push. If we we would see a real time number going up, and then people are like, "Oh, we're getting bacon back on." When the map. somebody um, it, when somebody signs it, yeah. someone's phone probably rings because that's how <laughs> Ooh, infrequent it is. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I was surprised it was over one hundred and fifty. Because where would you ever did you, see? Did you sign it? No, absolutely not. I'm not surprised. Yet. No, not yet. Oh. There you go. It went up two. It went up two. Oh, what's wow. that? One eighty-five. Okay, wow. as of this recording, fifteen to go. Okay, we're almost. I think that, we. I think we get fifteen people but, here but to do it, and then just, it. just now, not bother. Look at that number. <laughs> it says two hundred to get this on featured in recommended. Oh. Wow. Let's get it. Is, yeah, Dude. is that their goal? I feel Can you help Church's Chicken, not affiliated with any religion, <laughs> put Bacon, Texas back on the map? Uh -huh. Let's get it on the fucking map, okay? Mm -hmm. I think the saddest part is not so much about the town. It's about how Church's Chicken isn't able to get more than 200 uh, hey, people on board hey, with this. The last part of that, read read the last paragraph, uh, or the like. The, you can actually read that whole description. It's not sure. that long. Okay. Um, and, and you can see what they're doing here. A while back, the Wichita County community of Bacon, Texas, fell off the map. You can certainly find a bacon on a menu in Texas, but in 2021, you won't find it on a map. So at churches, we're celebrating our new Texas cut bacon chicken sandwiches in the most Texas way possible by coming together to put Bacon, Texas on the map. That's right. By signing this petition, you can help support our mission to officially bring bacon back to Texas. They said the same thing a lot of mm -hmm. times. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll be going on the road to get the word out about uh -huh. our petition. Oh, Make man. sure you follow our story on social, YouTube, and right here. And if you see our truck out in the wild, say hello and grab a sandwich. This sounds a lot like something we would do. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> but we would get more than 185 people to sign <laughs> that's, it. I mean, that's how many people showed up. And yeah. that was in one place. That, right. was, in, the that was in the world. world. Hey, yeah. guys, bacon? Yeah. Four hours, 23 minutes. Wow. Whoa. I, we can I'm make confused, a, though, because it is on the map. Mm, well, I think it's not on the map. We can you know make a I mean? pilgrimage. Sort of like, in oh, true, I typed we'll bacon, and it said It's like, yeah, we'll take you there, but it's not really on the map. In true church fashion, we can make a religious pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Wow, to bacon, home of I churches. Mean, it's on chicken. the map. It's right there. It says bacon. Nah, it's kind of like it's hard to read. It says bacon, right? No, it no. definitely says bacon. Well, then we must be working from the we future where we did it. We did it. Wow. Oh. You know how? That's the face you know why? Push. Because the face it was on, it was on recommended and it's trending. True. It's yeah. true. Or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> on whatever the fuck. And that's uh. Those are the facts. We learned a lot about churches that we didn't know anything about this restaurant. Not religious churches. No, that's yeah, a not a lot thing. of church talk. I've like, purged any information that I once had mm. from my brain. How are that's they not, not like going into towns that have like defunct churches and turning those into churches? Because they don't want to be affiliated. Yeah, they don't want to have anything to be, do with churches. You know how Pizza Hut has the Pizza I Hut mean, shape? I mean, Jordan, I agree. They should lean into it, but clearly they don't want to. Yeah, I mean, I, a confusing we, we opened this by saying that we drive by it and didn't know it was there. Yeah, but there was a church there oh yeah i'd be God. like whoa what the fuck a church and then oh whoa God. what the fuck it's a chicken sandwich place what happened hi everyone if you're filming content soon at where we are we encourage you to wear merch from the holiday collection <laughs> <laughs> we're filming right now we're not wearing it oh no wait i think maui brewing company is part of the merch this year is mega 64 part of what we do or no what is that it's uh some friends i've heard of those guys yeah you're wearing you, there you, you go you're like decked out nice <laughs> I'm decked out? Yeah. What does that mean? You got in in merch. Yeah, but none of it's holiday. Oh, yeah, not none holiday. Right. Yeah. This. I don't have clothes. What are you doing? That's not That's holiday. That's not holiday merch. either. What the fuck? Are you? He's, he's going, so, mm? he's, he's just so pointing at himself. Because his, so me? Cause, me, his, cause me, his better perhaps? self is on a shirt. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, do you ever, do you ever, do you become the monkey at home ever? 
No. Mm, he thought about he it. He did. I saw it. And, I he, had, and he, he had thought. like a wry mm. smile. <laughs> 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 kind of like in the way when Eric yeah. says, no, I don't believe yeah. him. I, I heard what yeah, I now, Hey, you know what? I might be on your guys' side now. I don't believe me either. <laughs> 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 I get it. Now I understand. Now I understand. It's fine. Yeah. That was, I'll say, that was some bonus press material we uh-huh. just got. That was mm-hmm. a freebie. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I just get a quick glance and that, there is. Th- that, calm down. There's some press material. I'm saying, yeah, we're allowed I'm to talk on the show. Yeah. That, what he just read, yeah. isn't on the paper. It's exciting. No, I Close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, why was your mouth open like a Muppet? <laughs> it was excited Beaker style. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like he did like the little like. <laughs> How's Kermit the Frog in it? The little huck, huck, huck. <laughs> All right, should you fire off? Uh, on this bitch? Yeah, dude. All right.